Hello everyone, and welcome back to John Bell's Iconic Military Malls. Okay, so my uh, polyurethane varnish has arrived. I've already given the deck one stain. I did try to film that earlier, but there was a little bit of an issue with the sound, so I was obviously I had to give it a second coat. I thought I'd just film that and show you pretty much the uh, entire procedure that I do, just for staining. Okay, so I'm going to take this polyurethane. You can put this on uh, quite neat if you wanted to, but it does run a little bit smoother if you just dilute it with a tiny bit, a little bit of... Uh, white spirits you don't need much i think this mixes at 10 to 1 ratio so imagine if you mixed up 10 millimeters of, of varnish you'd use one millimeter of white spirits so i'm just going to get this uh, little tub i'll just put a couple of pieces of kitchen towel around so obviously when i transfer it to this small little measuring cup i don't want it to run everywhere so i'm just going to open this up People knows with varnish you can get a little bit tacky, even I mean the, the, the tin's already feeling a little bit tacky. So you could put wear some gloves on if you wanted. Yeah, so I've got these little measuring cups. These got up to 25 uh, mil. So I'm just going to put. Don't need much, even though you think it's a large deck. It only needs about five millimeters of uh, of stain. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in. Right, so that's why I put the paper towel for. But it does go everywhere and just uh, wipe the tin, just for storage purposes. So I've got about five mil in there, and all I'm gonna do is because it's 10 to one ratio, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this uh, white spirits and just put a few drops in with the uh, polyurethane varnish. I'm just going to take one of these uh, cheap paintbrushes and just uh, mix it all together. Okay, so I'm going to bring Victory back across, set the camera up a little bit better so you can see it in the uh, correct position, and we'll start staining the deck. Okay, so I've got Victory uh, back on the table. So the first thing I do before I need to uh, actually uh, stain the deck is to show you that obviously because I'm reproducing how this one looked as you can see as you can see well obviously when this was made before it had all the little uh, pinholes represent where the uh, the deck had been nailed down so I've got to try and reproduce that to look exactly the same on the uh, so I'm going to make it so it looks exactly the same on this deck as it does on the uh, the poop deck so what I'm going to do, and I've done quite a few already, but I, I have left a few. So what I've done is I've got my little uh, USB uh, little uh, mini drill. It's got a 0 0.8 drill bit in the end. Oh, it's quite, you like these ones because they're flexible, not tied to anything, so I use this all the time. So what I'm going to do is wherever there's a little join of the planks, I'm just going to get this little USB drill and just drill a couple of holes either side. Left a few. I've done quite a few on the uh, the first coat. Could put four in, but I think that might look a little bit too much. So I think just for scale purposes, I think just one each side will look uh, okay. And I think that's some um, of all. I only left a couple to be done. Okay, so applying the. Uh, the polyurethane varnish. I'm actually using one of these sponge sponge brushes. This is a 25 mil one, and it's quite nice. It's going to fit in quite nicely between all little parts on the deck. So I'll get this uh, this stain over. This is a little pot I mixed a minute ago. So what I'm going to do is drop that just a little bit in. Take a little bit off the edges. You don't need too much, and then just to start to uh, apply it. And it's pretty much the same as you sand. Just going to start and follow the uh, the grain of the planks. Just, if you do it this way, it just makes things a little bit easier to kind of track so you know exactly 
how much you've uh, covered. So let's like say if you watch the uh, couple of videos back where I actually thought I'd got the stain. Now this is a, uh, I'm so much more happier with how this staining looks rather than the uh, trying to do the uh, the wood dye to match the stain. It's actually better just to use the correct wood. You know you're going to get 100%. Well, say this has been done. The, the lower decks have been done six years before. Quite happy with the uh, the match this time. I mean, as, as it starts to age, like the lower decks, it should all hopefully look very seamless. So like I say, all I'm doing is just continuously laying down this polyurethane varnish pulling like I say just following the, uh, the grain and once I've got quite a bit down I can do some large sweeps so I'm going to go all the way across and this will just pick up any of the, uh, the varnish that may be just uh, sat a little bit too thick on the uh, deck planks. I'm just going to make my way all the way into the Admiral's quarters. Like I say, the uh, Admiral's companion way that wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be there normally. It's only because this is a overplanked that that's there normally. I'd be kind of just have a complete deck with nothing on to worry about. Let's get the front of the brush and just get this front edge. The same again, I'm just going to do long continuous sweeps of the brush to pretty much where I started painting it in this second section. And that's pretty much all the, uh, the varnish laid down. Just uh, see this is, I was just looking at my monitor, see if there's actually any uh, dry spots. I'll pick one up. Okay, so after you've laid the uh, the varnish down, now I'm just using this little uh, this larger foam brush. This is one that's not been used. I'm just going to use it just to kind of take it over, and this will just take up some of the excess. So we'll get a nice, even coat of varnish. There's nothing worse if you're varnishing something and it absolutely looks like it's uh, absolutely plastered on. There's nothing worse than that, you completely ruin your model if you've got a massive thick layer of varnish on your, on your model. So you just, yeah, using this one that's not been loaded with any paint, and this will just take off a lot of the excess. I say that's just still just floating, it's not fitting into its final position yet. I'm just going to get a small little paintbrush just because I can't get the foam brush in and just paint a little bit around this uh, this mask cap. Same again, just, just keep looking, have a look, make sure it's not welling up anywhere where it looks too thick. If it does, let's go over again with the with the foam brush that's not loaded with any paint or varnish, you should say not paint, and then just take it off. Okay, so that's pretty much how I uh, lay my varnish down. 
So hopefully you've picked up a few little uh, tips. It just shows you just how quite easy it is. I know a lot of people are a bit scared of varnish, but it's quite easy if you do it correctly. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I wasn't going to show the staining uh, procedure, but I thought it might be a little bit a good video to actually show people. Fills in a couple of blanks in the, I mean, I've done over 125 videos of victory, but actually I'm not sure if I've ever shown you a video where I stained, doing any staining. So I thought it fills in the little, uh, the blanks and this will probably go in my uh, model ship builder folder as well as my build HMS victory folder. Okay, so if you see, if you're on my HMS Victory playlist and you see some videos that may say like members only, don't worry, it's only because I've, I've filmed it and I want to try and keep to like a regular schedule or maybe a, a video every two weeks or a video every week. So if you ever get to a playlist that says members only, don't worry. You, well, for one, you can either join a member, become a channel uh, cha member, which greatly helps me, or you can just wait because we're in a week, the video that's a member only will then just become a, a member will then just become a video for the uh, entire general community. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And like I say, it will greatly, does that little thumbs up, doesn't, uh, it doesn't cost anything. Please become a subscriber, that doesn't cost anything as well, but it just greatly helps my channel on YouTube. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Stop.